Alrighty folks, welcome to Call of Duty Mobile which just released today for free worldwide on Android and iOS and what a welcome I have for you with a tactical nuke coming straight at you, no messing about whatsoever when I found out there was a nuke in this game and you just had to sweat it out and get it for you, <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's on console with a controller or with my phone on the toilet, I'm going to be sweating a lot more on COD these days thanks to the release of this game, but I do have to say getting the nuke on COD Mobile was a lot less stressful than it was to get the nuke on Modern Warfare, let me tell you that, but what are we doing here? We are um, on the classic Treyarch Black Ops map Nuketown, uh, this game features a bunch of classic maps from different COD games over the years. Uh, we're playing a mode called Frontlines, which is kind of like Team Deathmatch in a way, but both teams' spawn points are locked in at either side of the map, and you fight it out to control mid-map, basically. Uh, in terms of firepower or weaponry, we're using the PDW submachine gun, and we really do go to town with it. Uh, go to Nuketown with it, that is true, in a number of ways. But uh, yeah, just before I get ahead of myself, I want to talk about the aiming style that I'm deploying. Uh, so... So far in the game's uh, short lifespan, I've just been using the basic aiming mode. There's two aiming modes, there's basic and advanced, and they both have different um, tweaks and variations you can do, but basic just means that any time my crosshairs hover over an enemy, the, the gun is going to start shooting. And it doesn't start shooting like straight away or as fast as you'd like, but it does make um, aiming a, a lot easier in my opinion when, when you're getting used to the game. Uh, the advanced version, uh, means that you, you're going to have to actually press um, a button to start shooting or if you've got 3D touch on your phone you can just kind of squeeze the screen and you're going to start shooting. I think now that I've got the hang of the game I will um, start learning the advanced uh, shooting mode as I've got these guys locked in here. I didn't really need, didn't really need any advanced mechanics there to do all that damage. Uh, but yeah, if you're wondering if the game has controller support, it doesn't at the moment. It did before it was released worldwide, but if, not Infinity Ward, um, was the company Tencent removed it um, for some reason, maybe to um, tweak it and, and make it a lot more smoother, I don't know. But when controller support comes back into the game, I'm going to be using that. So I, may, I maybe won't um, invest too much time learning the, the advanced aiming mechanic, but that guy should have died but it didn't really matter in the end but anyway what is the nuke requirements in this game i'm sure a lot of you want to know and um, there's been a lot of confusion about it actually a lot of wrong answers out there so i'm taking it upon myself to provide you with this knowledge the nuke in call of duty mobile is a 20 kill streak with your gun equipment and specialist only kill streak kills uh, do not count as i'm getting very very close to the nuke now and uh, yeah, my scythe kills earlier did contribute towards it, by the way. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm going to get the nuke right now. I actually don't have it and I don't even realise it. I had to stop aiming down the sights. I'm going to call it in and let you listen to the classic sound effect, by the way. gonna lie I didn't uh, really <laughs> imagine that car blowing up even though I nuke was getting called in it took me off my, my kill streak for the match but oh well <laughs> can't be too upset when you're calling in a tactical nuke can you absolutely buzzing with that but something I, I was both buzzing and heartbroken about was I got a, a nuclear medal which is a 30 kill streak but before I was ranked 20 and I was wondering where the hell my nuke was I wasn't showing up I thought my game was glitched or something so yeah you have to be ranked 20 before you can start calling in the tactical nuke and as a secret kill streak, you, you don't have to equip it or anything, don't worry about that. And as soon as you're ranked 20, you will have nukes in your back pocket, you just have to get the right amount of kills to get the codes to launch them. That's how I see it <laughs> working out anyway. Uh, we stomped on that team, which by the way, um, the, the regular matches are against a mixture of real people and bots. In this game, I believe I was playing against three real people and two bots. So that's why I've shown this nuke first, because I think it was a bit more impressive um, than my other nukes. 
Oh yeah, I've I've got other nukes. I think I've got like um, five by this point. But the other ones have been mainly on bots. I think I will show you uh, a nuke next, which <laughs> features some sniping gameplay, but it's all up against uh, bots basically. Uh, as you can see there, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure there was three real people in that match, but this one, uh, it's kind of um, doubtful. You 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 kind of see what I mean. My sniping gameplay speaks for itself though, bots or, or no bots, you cannot deny my, my sniping is absolutely uh, on point in this match. You'll see some serious uh, montage worthy shots, maybe maybe not that one actually Gary, but just get on with the commentary will you, instead of talking yourself up, getting amazing sniper shots against bots. Um, so yeah, uh, you, play, you play against uh, a mixture of... Um, real people and bots and just the, the regular quick matches but there is a ranked mode which I think is real people only if it's not then is you play against um, you definitely play against more real people in that mode anyway and obviously it is harder and I think that's where I will turn my attention to next getting a nuke in ranked mode will really count for something and establish myself on the Call of Duty mobile scene people will be fearing the name Marley 13 when they're jumping on COD Mobile on the way to work or like I said earlier on the toilet you'll be literally shitting yourself all over it anyway uh, <laughs> look at those shots those are dead nice uh, I've actually had so much fun playing this game since it, <laughs> since it came out honestly I didn't I didn't actually see myself playing it that much but I, I'm honestly so so hooked and I'm really looking forward to what else they Add to it in the future, it's definitely got a lot of potential. Um, it has a battle royale mode as well, which I, th I think is a hundred players in it. I haven't even tried that out yet, so I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into that. Uh, let's see if I can maybe get a video on that out for you at some point. But yeah, I expect a, a good few more Call of Duty Mobile uh, videos coming at you because it's just it's just a lot of fun. I mean how can how can you not have fun when you've got a death machine or a scythe and you're absolutely destroying folk in their spawn? Again, it, it, it's, it was bots I believe for the most part in the enemy team for this one. So don't, don't feel don't feel too bad here. If I could just get, see this is what I mean by the automatic shooting that I think my gun should have shot earlier there. Didn't really matter in the end again, as I've already got the nuke and these guys are just getting picked apart one by one by one. This was actually the first nuke I got, by the way. <laughs> um, but I, I just decided to show the nuke time one because um, I think I think it was more and more impressive. Um, another impressive shot there, but I was I was definitely excited again. You can't you can't take the nuke away from me, even if it's against bots. But uh, yeah, I just want to say if you've enjoyed this video and you're a Call of Duty fan and you're looking forward to more Call of Duty mobile videos, why not consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell to join the notification squad like the two legends on your screen have done plenty more COD mobile videos to come your way. And a uh, like on the video would be much appreciated too. And you need to let me know in the comments how much you're enjoying uh, COD mobile yourself. And... I think you can set up a clan in the game, by the way, for, for people to join. So I'm, I might go about setting one of those up and, and let you know what the situation is on that. And we can all join and play and, and rank up together. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, that's the end of that match. That's the end of the two nukes. Um, not much else to say other than have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.